Good morning, everybody. <laughs> ah, it's lovely to speak to you all again this morning. I feel like it's been a while, probably because I was camping on the last video, so I didn't do the whole one-to-one. -one. <laughs> but um, this morning, I've been sat here, and yes, ah, I feel like I just need to catch a breath, just like chill for a minute and talk about what's happening in my life, um, as you can see from my smile. <laughs> so happy man so happy we are gonna be grandparents for the second time so if anybody who's been watching hasn't heard that yes we are gonna be grandparents for the second time and we're not long off um due date for our second grandchild is the end of august so we're not far off and our second grandchild will be here oh man if i had one wish one wish for everybody would be that you would feel what it's like to be a grandparent. The love blows your mind, man. Blows my mind every time when I think about it. Just thinking about it, my mind just goes pop. <laughs> because when you first get that message or call or the face-to-face -face that says, guess what, mom and dad, you're going to be grandparents. You, you instantly fall in love. You instantly fall in love with this baby. You haven't met her. You haven't seen her. You haven't heard his or her heartbeat. You've heard nothing. But instantly, the love is there. It's, it's a, it's, it's, I don't know how to describe it, but it's instant. It is different to your children. It is an overwhelming sense of love. I don't know if it's because they are, younger than your kids they're more vulnerable they're smaller they they need protecting so your 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 senses are even more heightened than your own children <laughs> i laugh with my i say i love my grandkids more than you people <laughs> but it doesn't mean that i don't love you i just love them just a little bit more <laughs> a little bit more so yes we are grandparents with Eddie to martha and our second grandchild is on her way. And when they announced her birth, they said that. Oh, man, that said it all for us. That said it all. 2023 will be a year to remember. And it is turning into a year to remember. A lot of wonderful things. Derek and I um, have become grandparents a little bit later than our friends and people we grew up with. And I can remember people asking, um, why are you not grandchildren? Is something wrong? Like, yo, <laughs> there's nothing wrong. <laughs> there's nothing wrong. Um, we, we've always said as parents, we want our children to travel, um, take up all them hobbies. Do what you want to do, really, before your children come along. Because once the children come along, you have different responsibilities. You have less time to do a lot for yourself it becomes about your children which is right it's the season for it isn't it it's the season for being a mom a dad um so yes we've always encouraged our children go out there love go and do what you want to do but equally at the same time there was a sense in us that oh are they coming when are they coming um we're excited we can't wait for them to come we hope we're not too old to do the things we want to do with them play on the floor because you know what our grandchildren are they like to play on the floor so you want to be able to still get down on the floor and get back up but whatever age you experience it that would be my one wish that you would experience it and i pray that you get that opportunity to experience grandchildren so yeah that's where we are in the season of our lives at the minute she's coming she's around the corner now a second grandchild not far off and we are so so excited man you're excited for Matt and Renee who are already parents. Darren and Holly are becoming new parents. So we're excited for that and cannot wait to see her. Now, thanks to modern technology, we get a glimpse of what our grandchildren look like. And I think it's just amazing the 3D scans that they do. And equally, we have Martha here. <laughs> who we get to see already in, well, a lot of times in the week, we are those grandparents. We do see her quite a lot. And 
which is lovely for Matt that they have both sets of grandparents and not far off. And it's going to be exactly the same for Darren and Holly. Both sets of grandparents are not far off. So we get to spend good quality time with our grandkids. Modern technology, like I say, blows my mind. When Martha was um, in the womb still, I got to go to one of the scans with Renee and I got to see Martha's heartbeat on the screen. I got to hear Martha's heartbeat on the screen. The detail that was on that screen was like, whoa. It just messed my head up a little bit. And yeah, I was I was super excited. I I, I already, like I said, that love was already there, but hearing her just made that love even more cemented. And Martha and I had the opportunity to go and listen to a cousin. So Martha and I went along with Holly's mom with Anne to listen to the heartbeat for Holly and Darren's baby. And man, was Martha as good as gold. She sat on my lap and she listened to that heartbeat. We heard her cousin's heartbeat. Oh, we were connected. We were, we can't wait for you to come. Hurry up, hurry up. We're waiting for you. We're waiting for you. So we are in that season of life and we're excited, people. We are so excited and we cannot wait to bring her safely into the world that God will allow her to arrive safely, that her and Holly will get through the delivery safely. That's our heart's desires. And then we're going to love on her in person. <laughs> Like how we love our mother, we're going to love on her cousin, full on man, full on. So like I said, you can see the joy that this brings us. Um, our family is growing. Yo, 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 yo. We came to this country, five of us. Five of us. Derek, myself, and our children. And they've now all got partners. So we've increased that by three. And another two are coming. <laughs> Man, it's growing so it does bring us a lot of joy Derek and I to see the family growing to see the next generation coming up and to see our children be responsible adults that are able to take care of their children as grandparents we're just here for the loving and backup and child care but the main day-to-day -day job is done by our children they are the parents they take care of our grandkids the most and so yeah we're super super excited um I'm looking down because I've made little notes and I didn't want to forget anything. But I have a promise to make to my grandchildren. And, and I've made that promise already to Martha. And the promise is that we will always be here for you. No matter what you go through, no matter where you are, we will always be here for you. Pa and Barbie will always be here for you. We love you. We love you deeply. And we will always try to do the best we can for you. We will always try to direct you in the correct path to take in life. Um, that is our promise, is to love on you both, man. And any other grandchildren that come on, that love does not get half. That love is exactly the same. No matter which grandchild it is, that love is at 100%. 100%. <laughs> so, yes, Martha calls us Bobby and Pa. Barbie because she was trying to say baby and couldn't say baby and now she calls me Barbie because that's the word that she came up with for baby. So Barbie is me and Pa is Derek. So yeah, Barbie and Pa are waiting. We cannot wait to welcome you little one into this world and we just thank God for the abundant blessings he's given us as a family that we get to be and to experience the next generation. Oh man, love on your grandkids people. <laughs> love on your grandkids i pray that you all have an absolutely awesome and blessed day and yeah don't forget to laugh life's too short not to love you all take care and i will see you on the next one hopefully my grandbaby will be here by then <laughs>